So, I have got two East Coast live concert events coming up, one with Frenchie and the Punk, and one with Escape the Clouds at Abney Park. And I'll share all the details right now on this Cog is Dead video news update. It's time for a video update. Hey everybody, John Sprocket from The Cog is Dead here. I hope you're all doing really well today. I am very excited about these upcoming shows. Uh, before I jump into that quick question, I would just like to get everybody's opinion because uh, a lot of times you'll see me wearing my glasses because, uh, you know, for day-to-day -day use I have prescription eyewear and I normally take them off when I do concerts, but I thought it might be kind of cool to find something that was a little bit more steampunky so that I can, you know, still see very clearly at events. So I got these frames. I, I don't know, I personally thought they were kind of cool. They're angular. They almost look a little bit sinister, if you know what I mean. <laughs> anyway, um, I I don't know. They're they're very different. They're unique, and I liked the look of them. So I was wondering what you guys think. Should I wear these two events in concert? I mean, I can wear, I guess, whatever I want. Really, is is my choice. But I'd I'd like to know if uh, you guys think they look all right because uh, I'm considering wearing these to some upcoming shows. So. Anyway, uh, I just wanted to get that out of the way. I'm going to keep wearing these because I can see better with them on. So just leave a comment and let me know your opinion. Uh, so yeah, I've got two concerts coming up. It has been a year since I played my last show because these days um, I'm so busy. I'm basically just locked in here in the studio all the time working either on music or other stuff. But I am super excited because I can go back out and perform again for the first time in over a year. Uh, so here are the upcoming shows. October, October 15th and 16th, I'm going to play the Shepherdstown Fairy Festival in Shepherdstown, West Virginia. Um, very, very excited about this because I'll be joining my good friends Frenchie and the Punk, who I have known for 10 years now. We've toured the country. We've uh, we've done a lot of steampunk events together over the years. They're an awesome uh, steampunk, folky, cabaret duo, uh, acoustic guitar, drums. Uh, they're And they're really cool. They, they're a high-energy, fun show, and they're just awesome people. So uh, both acts are playing two sets each day, both days. Uh, that is October 15th and 16th. And it's going to be a really fun event. Uh, it's only about a 90-minute drive from Baltimore or Washington, D.C., uh, or you know, since I'm not doing quite as many shows these days, and this is the first time I've ever been to West Virginia, if you live anywhere in the area and want to come see the show, uh, I don't know when I'll get a chance to be back, hopefully soon, but uh, if you want to drive, you know, three to four hours, you can come from Pittsburgh or Philadelphia, uh, Charlottesville, Richmond, Virginia, you know, there, there are so many uh, surrounding areas in uh, you know, near near this area. So if you would like to come out, I highly encourage you guys to come out. It's going to be super fun. Uh, I'm looking forward to it. That's, uh, that's basically all I can say. Come see the show. It is the Shepherd's Town Fairy Festival, October 15th and 16th at Sam Michaels Park, West Virginia. Uh, all the information can be found at their website, thefairiesarecoming.com. The fairies are coming! Then in November, uh, on the 12th and 13th, I am very excited to be doing a show in South Florida, uh, which is kind of crazy that I have never done one before because The Cog is Dead is from Central Florida. We have performed in Daytona Beach and Orlando and Jacksonville and Tallahassee and all over the place and somehow have never ended up in South Florida. So I'll be making my South Florida debut in West Palm Beach at Steampunk Adventurers Weekend. This is going to be an amazing weekend. Uh, I'm going to be performing with Escape the Clouds and Abney Park. So Escape the Clouds is the musical project of Mark Rossmore, who uh, I first knew as the creator of steampunk-music.com, which is an awesome place to discover steampunk bands. Uh, you should check it out. There's a huge list of tons of bands, amazing music you can find from that website. Um, his musical project, Escape the Clouds, is awesome. He tells these rich stories uh, based on both history, fiction, or a combination of both uh, with epic soundscapes. It's, it's really cool. He's going to be performing, and Abney Park... If you've heard of steampunk music, chances are you've heard of Abney Park. They are one of the biggest steampunk bands in the world. Their influence can be seen in countless other bands that have come up in the years since, including The Cog is Dead. Early on, they were an influence on the steampunk style and aesthetic that I wanted to take the band in. Um, and they are from Seattle, so they don't actually get to Florida too often. So this is a rare treat if you want to come see them. In fact, the last time I performed with them on the same night was 10 years ago in Daytona Beach, Florida. So this is not something that happens all that often. Uh, it's going to be a really exciting weekend. I'm playing two shows, believe it or not. I'm going to be playing 
at the Abney Park show on Saturday night. And then Sunday night, I am playing an extended 90-minute uh, headlining set to close out the event. So it's going to be a blast. I'm really looking forward to getting back out, going to West Virginia and Florida and seeing you guys and performing and um, just having some fun with some awesome steampunk folks. So if you guys want to come see the shows, please do. I really, really encourage it uh, because... I don't get to do this as often, basically because everybody's been so busy. But uh, yeah, that's that's pretty much it. There's a lot of other stuff going on that I want to talk about, projects and things. Um, for now, I should get going because I've got a lot of work to do. Uh, but thank you guys so much. I hope to see you at one of these upcoming shows in either West Virginia or South Florida. And until then, everybody, take care. Cheers. <laughs>